Today, we're going to learn a little bit about the Sabbath of Ostara. I suppose first I should ask you if you know what a Sabbath is. And this might even be a good place to let you know that when you look up the, word, the meaning of a word that pagans use all the time, very often you're probably going to get some pretty strange stuff. I'll bet probably all of you know people who are not pagan. You probably have met and know quite a few people who are Christians. They worship and serve differently than we do. In our last episode, I showed you that there are many, many gods and goddesses and have been throughout all of history. So there are many, many ways to worship, serve, and believe. In fact, there are plenty of people throughout the whole world that don't believe in any gods whatsoever. And you know what? That's all right. Isn't it nice to have choices? There are many, many, many ways to do all kinds of different things. And I tell you that all the time. This is one of those things, okay? But do remember, all knowledge is worth having. So we're going to introduce you to some ideas along the way, and you get to make your own choices. You should know that everything changes all the time. You're growing older and learning to do new things, and so do other people. But it's not just people who change. How we celebrate our birthdays change all the time. The things we like changes too. You may or, not, may or may not know it, but here in the United States, we have the opportunity to change who our president is once every four years. And that changes all kinds of things too. One of the other important things that changes all the time is language, or the words that we choose to use. When my mother was young, she thought that when something was really neat, it was groovy, <laughs> groovy baby, okay? Well, my mother's still alive today, but very few people use that word when they want to say something is pleasant or cool or neat. Instead, a lot of people say it's awesome or fantabulous or uh, it's like a boss. Okay. So the words we choose to use change all the time. Imagine how many words have changed in the last hundred years. How about the last 500 years? How about the last 3,000 years? Lots and lots of changes. I'll bet the people who built the pyramids in Egypt never used words like, I don't know, fantabulous, groovy, huh? Or how about radical? That's radical, dude. <laughs> I'll bet they never said that. It's important to understand that everything changes all the time because if you look up the word pagan, you will often find the definition means a country dweller or someone who is uneducated or unsophisticated. Today, the word pagan usually means something quite different. And now it usually, when you look it up, on occasion you may even find that it does tell, say it's someone who believes in many gods and goddesses. That's a general definition. So what about Sabbath? It used to mean a secret meeting of witches and sorcerers for worshiping the devil. Can you say it with me? Not! Okay, That was never true. Back in the 14th, 15th, 16th century in France, that's what the definition was. Pagans do not worship the devil. As I said, you'll find all kinds of these kinds of definitions if you look up words that we as pagans use all the time. There are a lot of reasons for, the re for why those words are that way in the dictionary. But for day today, I'm going to tell you that Sabbath is one of the eight festivals celebrating the changing of the seasons. You may even already know that. Now, isn't that much better? Pagans celebrating a Sabbath together can be one of the most wonderful times you'll ever have. And I certainly hope you have the chance to celebrate many Sabbaths with lots of pagans throughout your whole life. But you should really be aware that a whole lot of people don't see things the way that we as pagans do. Many Christians celebrate a lot of their holidays right around the same time that we celebrate our ha holidays or Sabbaths. That's just the way it is. And sometimes, even if you don't serve, worship, or believe in the Christian God or Jesus, you're probably going to feel left out because so many of your friends are doing things at church or with their families. And probably many of your friends at school are Christians too. So they talk about how they're going to celebrate their holidays. So how about if we talk about those birthday parties again? Let's say you were invited to two birthday parties on the very same day. That's not fair. I'm sure you'd like to go to both of them. But what if you couldn't? How would you decide which one to go to? I guess that depends on you, doesn't it? 
Or maybe it depends upon which one your mom or dad lets you go to. Maybe you could go to both. Maybe you could only go to one, but you could send a gift to the other one. There's so many choices, okay? Um, maybe you like one person better than the other. Or maybe you would decide not to go at all. So, now we're thinking about those two birthday parties, those two different kinds of birthday parties. Let's go back to celebrating Sabbaths and holidays. Because so many of your friends very probably do celebrate Easter and Christmas, while pagans are celebrating Ostara and Yule, you just might feel left out. Then again, maybe you don't. Do you know there are plenty of people who never celebrate birthdays? Not once in their life. And there are some people who don't celebrate any holidays or Sabbaths at all. And there are even people who celebrate the Sabbaths in their own homes, but also celebrate Christian holidays with their grandparents and other family members. You need to understand that there are many, many ways to celebrate just about everything. So let me ask you something. What would you do for your own birthday party if you didn't like cake and ice cream? Would you be afraid that your friends would make fun of you for having pie instead? How about you? Would you make fun of your friend if he or she wanted pie instead of cake and ice cream for their birthday party? Well, I hope not. Just like you don't want anyone to make fun of you, you really should think about it before making fun of somebody else. And as far as Ostara is concerned, or any of our eight Sabbaths, maybe if you learn more about how and why we celebrate the changing of the seasons, you'll begin to feel better and not so left out. Maybe you have Jewish friends, or friends who are hin Hindu, or from some other faith or religion. Maybe you have friends who are atheists. Certainly possible. Do you know that even some pagans celebrate differently than other pagans? It's true. Again, just like birthdays, just because I might always have cookies for my birthday instead of cake and ice cream, that doesn't mean I make fun of my friends who do have cake and ice cream for their birthdays. I might feel a little sad for my friends who don't celebrate their birthdays at all because I love to celebrate, but I don't make them feel worse for not celebrating the way that I do, and I don't make them feel like they're doing anything wrong. We all have our own choices. So if you and your best friend both had birthdays on the very same day, and they had a bigger party than you did, do you think it would be a good thing to feel sad because you didn't get all the things that they did? Or do you think it might be a better thing to do by celebrating your own special day in ways that are important to you? You get to choose. Me, I like to feel good and happy and I like to celebrate. So I would choose to focus my attention on making my special day something worth celebrating. Your Christian friends may very well be celebrating Easter in many of the same ways that we celebrate Ostara, but they're celebrating something very, very different than about than what we are celebrating. So perhaps, just perhaps, you might want to think about how wonderful it is that we can all choose to celebrate the things that are important to us, no matter who else is celebrating something else. So how about if we learn a little bit about Ostara, so we'll have a better idea just what it is we're celebrating anyway. What do you say? <laughs>